Okay, in this video, um, we're not going to do anything too fancy. Um, I'm just going to, more than anything, just try to provide a quick little reference on some basic graphs that I think are useful to know in algebra. Okay, um, so we'll step through these here pretty quickly. I'm not going to go real in depth into any of them. Um, the first one you should recognize is anything of the form y equals mx plus v. And again, this is just going to be a linear function. And of course, any linear function, if you graph it, is going to look just like a straight line. Okay, so again, m represents the slope, b represents the y-intercept. So if you have an equation with the form um, y equals mx plus b, that's just going to be the graph of simply a straight line. Okay, so let's do. Uh, Here's number one down. Um, again, not going real in depth into any of these. Remember the graph of something, um, well, of y equals x squared. This is just going to be a parabola. So there's the graph of y equals x squared. Again, just our familiar parabola shape. Okay, notice too, if you plug 1 in for x, you get 1 out for y. Excuse me, negative 1 there. Likewise, if you plug 1 in for x, you get positive 1 out for y. Um, if you graph a function, actually, that's any even power, it's going to look very similar to this graph, um, except it'll, get a little, it'll be a little flatter between 0 and 1, but then it'll get steeper after that. So, for example, this could be the graph of y equals x to the fourth. Again, it's got that parabola shape. It's supposed to have that kind of U shape to it. The higher the power is, um, again, if it's an even power, it'll be flattened out more so between 0 and 1, but then it'll be steeper. Okay. Likewise, if you graph, say, an odd power of x, x cubed, x to the third, x to the fifth, x to the seventh, they're all going to have the basic shape of a graph like this. So here's the graph, for example, y equals x to the third. Likewise, if we graph, say, for example, y equals x to the fifth, again, notice that both of these, this graph will go through 1, 1, and also um, negative 1, negative 1. If the power is higher, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to be a little flatter, but then it'll become steeper after that. Okay, so again, a very obvious rough graph of uh, y equals x to the fifth. So I just want to put a couple other ones up here real quick. Again, just as a quick refresher, um, more than anything on these. Um, remember, if you graph y equals absolute value of x, the graph of absolute value of x is simply going to be that V-shaped graph. So y equals absolute value of x will be our familiar v-shaped graph. Um, if we graph, say, y equals square root of x, and obviously this isn't you know every graph that you would ever need to know, but just again a, a few, just a little refresher on some very common ones y equals square root of x is that curvy function. Okay, keeps increasing as you move to the right, but it'll get um, start moving a little bit slower. And then just two other ones here, real quick. Um, some other graphs that are important in algebra two are exponential functions and graph of logarithmic logarithm functions. So actually, maybe I'll throw those on here real quick too. The graph of y equals 1 over x that graph um, will get closer to the y-axis but never touch it. Likewise, it'll get closer to the x-axis but never touch it. Okay, and then it'll go down and it'll basically just be kind of a reflection of that graph. So there's y equals 1 over x. 
Um, and likewise, if we were to graph y equals 1 over, say, x squared, the uh, top right half will look very similar. Um, we'll still get this very similar. It'll get close to the y-axis and also get close to the x-axis. But then it's the exact um, same thing, basically, if you reflect it about the y-axis. Okay? So that would be the graph of y equals 1 over x squared. And again, just as a reminder of the other two here. Let me squeeze them in here. So if you have the graph of log, we'll say base b of x, and we're going to just restrict our, ourselves to the case where the base b is bigger than 1. Um, a basic logarithm will go through the point 1, 0, and it gets closer to the y-axis as well, but doesn't touch it. And then it sort of looks like, you know, the top part of the square root function. It's, you know, obviously not a square root function, but it'll increase very slowly as you move out. So there's the graph of a basic logarithm. Last but not least, maybe we can squeeze in our exponential functions. So remember, an exponential function um, is of the form y equals a to the x. If the base a is bigger than 1, the function will increase as you move left to right. So there's our basic exponential, again, if our base is bigger than 1. If we graph the exponential function y equals a to the x, where the base a is between 0 and 1, it'll basically it'll just be a reflection about the y-axis of this graph. And instead of getting bigger as you move left to right, it'll actually get smaller as you move left to right. Okay. So again, a very rough, 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 um, hopefully reminder on some basic shapes of some graphs. I always encourage my calculus, or excuse me, well, my calculus students too, um, algebra students as well, to know um, pictures of graphs. So to use an, a, a, an old pun or an old saying rather. Um, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words. If you know graphs, you can do a lot with this. Um, also, too, once you start doing graph transfer transformations, if you know these basic graphs, that's going to be crucial in coming up with the, uh, the graph transformation. So, again, nothing at all fancy here. More than anything, just a little refresher. Um, so feel free to take a look at my website. I've got lots of other videos that are covered, uh, different topics that are covered a little more in depth.